it guys how's it guys how's it guys <laughs> i am so excited about this video i literally cannot contain myself if it's not already obvious but welcome welcome back to another video guys if you are new here my name is zizi and we make lifestyle content on this channel but every now and again we do a cute girl chat like we are doing today i I have not done a sit down video in quite a long time and so if I'm like a little bit um, what's the word rusty forgive me I think it's probably been six months since my last um, sit down video so please forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty but I'm so excited I've been waiting probably like a good two weeks to film this but we are here today we are here today um, as you can probably see I'm filming this video from my garden um, because me and the hubs have finally moved into our new home for those of you guys who are new or who don't know um, the hus my husband and I have been on a journey of purchasing our very first home not just together but just our very first home period because neither one of us had a property before purchasing this property so this is our first home for like the both of us so we've been on that journey for the past couple of months and i actually took you guys through a large chunk of that journey um i'm going to actually just link a playlist here of all the vlogs that i did while we were on our house hunting journey by the way my pool is like right here and the pool pump is actually on so if you can hear that I apologize I apologize I had to film this video now before the sun sets it's like half past four <laughs> so I have to film the video now but anyways I digress um, so the husband and I have been in the process of purchasing our home over the past couple of months I will link a, a playlist of our house hunting journey and that journey has finally finally come to an end and I thought I would make this video to give you guys a little bit of a tour of our home um, also tell you a little bit about our home as well as the process that we went through in purchasing this home yeah that's what this video is going to be about and i hope that you enjoy it so i think let's actually start with a little bit of a home tour but before we get into that just a little bit of detail about our home so we purchased a home that is inside of a complex a lot of you guys who follow me on instagram might be under the impression that we bought a standalone house but we actually decided long time ago that a standalone house wasn't really what we are looking for right now for multiple reasons such as like safety um the maintenance of a standalone home was going to be quite like a bit of admin and we just felt like we were not really ready for that in this point in time and so we decided even before we started looking for a home that we're going to purchase a home that is inside of a complex um we didn't necessarily want an apartment because we wanted a little bit of space for our kids to be able to run around we don't have kids yet but when we do have them we wanted some space for them to be able to ride their scooters and like run around with some grass and so forth so we purchased a home that is inside of a security complex and I guess you can call it a townhouse um, and the complex where we purchased in there's kind of like quite a number of units in it but it's like individual homes that are within like um, a big complex we did actually go and view one standalone house um, you guys might have seen it in a previous vlog but we actually decided against it um, because we thought that this is probably what is best for us now and then in terms of the actual like house or townhouse that we purchased so we purchased a three bedroom two and a half bathroom home with an open plan living area and the open plan living area is comprised of two living rooms a dining room a kitchen and the kitchen also has got a scullery we also have a double garage that is able to fit both of our vehicles and we also have a one bedroom granny flat with its own ensuite bathroom um, some of the other really nice features in the home are like a really really nice pool a nice backyard with a garden and lots of flowers and trees um, there's like so many palm trees in this yard it makes me so happy because every time we wake up in the morning and we look outside the window it feels like we're on vacation you know um, so there's lots of palm trees lots of flowers and there's of course a lawn and grass for our kids to be able to like run around on for us to be able to have picnics on but yeah enough of me rambling let me let me get into the tour enjoy gonna stay in this moment gonna lay here on the grass
Of all the magic places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you Been walking down the street so many times My feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold you guys have kind of seen what the home looks like I want to chat a little bit about what is the process that we actually went through in order to purchase our home so just for a little bit of context um, my husband and I are young working professionals we both work in corporate I work in finance and in investments and my husband works in corporate law so we both work full-time corporate jobs and basically all of the money that we have is made from like our corporate jobs we don't come from wealthy families in fact we both grew up like pretty poor um, and we kind of went to university we got like decent jobs and we've just been progressively working over the years to improve our income to improve the work that we do um, and inevitably to then also improve our lives and get us to a point where we're able to purchase a home like this I am 28 years old I have been working in corporate for six years now um, but I've been working in finance for five years and then my husband on the other hand has been in corporate he's 31 years old um, and he's been in corporate for seven years and the reason why he hasn't been working for a longer period of time because you get that because he's three years older than me if I've been in corporate for six years he would have been in corporate for nine years but actually my husband studied like quite a lot um, he did like three degrees whereas I only did one and then I started working um, and my second degree I did while I was already working full-time yes I do work on social media as well as you guys can probably tell I make content I also make content for brands but to be honest I'm like right at the beginning of my social media career so I don't actually really make a lot of money from it and when we're actually applying for our bond to purchase our home the money that I make on social media was not even taken into consideration when we were in the process of purchasing our home so I'm saying all of this to just kind of make it clear how exactly we kind of got here um, and to just to give a little bit of context as to like who we are our backgrounds and how we got here the process of purchasing our home <laughs> so we got married last year um, we we're actually chatting the other day about the fact that we've actually been married now for 18 months we got married in March last year on the 1st of March last year we had a very intimate at home wedding at my husband's parents home and we couldn't have like our wedding back then because of the panoramic if you know what I mean we had to postpone our wedding to later in the year in October the prospects of purchasing a home were not really kind of in our radar well they were actually let me let me not say that they were in our radar but we didn't think that it would happen as quickly as it did and we didn't think that we would get a house like the house that we eventually got so I kind of started getting an inkling um, very soon after we got married that we should purchase a home so we got married in March and around about like June July I just kind of felt 
in my heart <laughs> if i can say it that way i just kind of felt in my heart that let me start looking at properties let me start looking at the type of areas that my husband and i have spoken about where we would like to stay um and you know let me, let me start looking at properties that i think would be appropriate for like a young couple in their 20s or their 30s who is planning to have kids um not necessarily a forever home but just like a starter home let me start having a look so I went on property 24, I went on private property um, and all like the sides of the estate agents to look at what was kind of in the markets, right? And I did manage to convince my husband that we should go and look at some properties. He wasn't really keen because he was just like, why are we doing this? We agree that we're not going to be buying property anytime soon. And on top of that, we were actually in the process of like planning our wedding still because our wedding only happened like in October and this was like around about June. <laughs> so um after like lots of convincing i was like no let's just go have a look you know just so we can see what's out there let's just go we can see what's within our affordability and we looked at a couple of properties um and the one of the agents that i actually met through this process then introduced me to a bond originator right and i reached out to this bond originator um it was her name was adele from a company called uber home loans i reached out to adele and i was like can I send you like our pay slips and all of like our finances so that you can kind of gauge for us um, what we could like realistically afford and the interest rate that we are likely to get with our like current financial position. So she was like, sure, you know, I sent over all of our details, all of our documentation and within like a week she got back to us and she was like, okay, you can afford a house at this price, like realistically. Um, and this is the interest rate that you are likely to get based on your current like financial situation so we're like cool um we, my husband and i sat down and had a very long conversation about when do we want to purchase a home the type of home that we want to purchase and we both concluded that this is probably going to be like two years if not three years away you know um so we decided okay we'll probably buy a property either mid 2023 or mid 2024 run right about there and then we just kind of laid it to rest we let it go we saw what this is not the time for us to purchase a home and we moved on with our lives we planned our wedding set other financial goals that we knew we had to meet like paying off all of our debt our cars etc we had our wedding in October um, and our wedding kind of ended up costing much more than we had you know anticipated and then we ended up having to use quite a bit of our even our emergency funds to um, fund our wedding because we didn't want to take any sort of debt to pay for our wedding we had our wedding in October and afterwards we started rebuilding our emergency funds and all the money that we had kind of drained during the planning of the wedding and then in January, at the beginning of this year, our agent sent us an email and said, mind you, the apartment that we were staying in, I moved into it. We got it together way before we got married, but I lived in it from August of 2020, right? So now when we get, and when we get this email, this was January of 2021. 20, what, what? January 2022, this year, yes. So our agents sent us an email and said that, so the owner wants to sell the property, and so you have to move out. And so we asked, okay, so when do we have to move out? And she was like, well, when your lease expires in July, you have to move. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I was devastated. I was so devastated because the apartment that I lived in, that we lived in, the both of us, our plan was to live in that apartment for like three years, maybe even four. And at that time, we had only been living in it for maybe about 18 months or so. And so we thought, okay, what do we do now? Should we go and find a rental property that we're going to stay in for like a year, maybe two at the max, and then buy a home, or should we just kind of bite the bullets and purchase our home now, you know? We took some time to kind of like think about it and pray about it. We evaluated our finances, and our finances were not looking very bright <laughs> in terms of enabling us to be able to purchase a home. Because as you guys know, when you purchase a home, there's so many like very big major costs that are associated with that entire purchase. So we thought, okay, you know what? Let's just start looking let's just start looking and see about okay what does the market kind of offer it had been a good like seven or eight months since we last looked at the markets and we didn't know what prices were like we didn't know what is currently available on the market so in january guys we started looking and obviously my husband works like very very long hours so i did quite a lot of the searching the online searching on property 24 on the company property website i searched and searched and searched and searched 
there were a couple of contenders that we had found in fact there was a particular house i think it was the very first one we viewed this year where i was like this is the one i was so convinced by that house was the one and then when i kind of spoke to the agent after we viewed the house and i was like okay i just want to do a, some due diligence on this house before we kind of sign an offer to purchase but that agent was a little bit like sketchy you know and on top of that we still didn't know how we we're going to like kind of finance this whole project so we kind of decided to let that one go and then we continued to search and i remember i think it was probably about six weeks into our search on the 28th of february so we had been searching for a home maybe for like six weeks now every single weekend we were like looking and looking and looking and i know that in my vlogs it probably looks like we only looked at like four or five homes because we looked at so many every weekend probably from like halfway through january up until like the end of march we were looking at homes you know but nonetheless six weeks into our search on the 28th of february right let me just double check calendar yes it was the 28th of feb i went into the office and the first thing i did when i put on my laps i was like hmm, let me go on to property 24 and see if there's any properties that kind of popped up during the weekend you know because i think i had last looked on like friday or something i opened up property 24 and here was this house here was this house and guys i swear i swear in my heart something said to me that's your home like like something literally said in my heart that's your home and i was like no surely not surely not surely and this home guys was spectacular like it was so much better than anything else that we had like viewed so far and strangely enough it was the exact same cost as all the other homes that we had been viewing so i i like took took the link for the home and i sent it to my friend unamsha and unamsha phoned me immediately and she was like that is your house Th this this one right here she was like of all the homes that you have sent me and you have been showing me these past couple of weeks i'm convinced that this is the home i'm like okay do you think i should present this to my husband she was like yes and present it to him now so i took the link again i sent it to my husband and i think at first he thought it was too good to be true <laughs> he thought it was too good to be true and then i was like babe i think i found our house and he was like this house looks a little too good to be true um i think we need to go and see it before we get too excited before we get too emotionally invested let's just go and like see the home so i was like okay sharp this saturday this coming saturday we're gonna go view the house right property 24 i made a note of where the house is then property 24 right and then on thursday right i'm working at home i've gone to property 24 so that i can get the number of the agent for the house right so that i can call her and make a booking open the property 24 website and the house is under offer guys i, I kid you not i cried real tears like i cried real tears the way i could not believe it i was like this house literally listed even said in the description but it listed on the 28th of february that's when it went on the market and i think this was like the third of march and the house was under offer i was like lord no surely surely smart well this cannot be the case because in my heart this was our home <laughs> so i found my husband absolutely absolutely devastated and he was like oh and, and i think and i think he was also like quite hurt because i, I think i could hear the disappointment in his voice he was like oh man okay maybe then it just wasn't like it just wasn't our home fine we continued looking i even started considering about okay should we go back and like start considering that house where i didn't trust the agent we looked at more options i think um probably a month went by like a good month went by where we were just looking and looking and looking and guys like nothing was coming to like like our hearts like nothing nothing seemed to like satisfy 
I guess the longing that I had because I had seen this house so now every other house that I was looking at I was looking at it through the prism <laughs> of comparing it to this home here and I think after a month had gone by um, I was on property 24 I remember I was on the phone with Unamla I was on property 24 like scrolling scrolling looking at like trying to find other properties for us to go and view and guys this house came up again and this time around and mind you a month had gone by and this time around it was no longer under offer I was like Lord it cannot be Lord it cannot be and I was actually on the phone with um, Unamla when I saw this and she was literally like what it's no longer an offer call the agent now call the agent now so i put the phone down from her picked up and phoned the agent and i was like beloved there's this property that i'm i'm looking at it was under offer and she was like which one i gave her the specs of it she was like oh yeah the person made an offer they were supposed to pay a deposit within like seven days and they didn't pay the deposit and we've been chasing them and chasing them and chasing them and they're just not paying the deposit and so we decided to put it back on the market again and so so I asked about so can we come and view the property if it's still like available if it's still on the market and she was like yeah sure and I literally booked for that Saturday that Saturday after um, I saw that it was like it was available again I booked I told my husband that the house is available let's go and see it we came guys and it was everything we had seen in the pictures and more in fact like I, I felt like I felt like the pictures don't do it justice <laughs> I felt like the pictures didn't even do it justice. It was just so much bigger, so much brighter than what the pictures had depicted. And when my husband and I walked into this home, we were like, this is our home. This is our home. And when we were here, we chatted to the agent and she was like, yeah, so the person who currently has an offer in it, we've given them an additional seven days. And um, if they don't pay the deposit, it's in seven days, their offer to purchase kind of falls away. And then you guys can submit an offer to purchase. And we're like, okay, cool. Um, we wanna actually bring somebody to come and inspect the house. So a couple of days went by and then we brought my father-in-law, uh, my husband's father, to come and view the home inspect it and kind of look at all its imperfections that we might not be able to identify because one we've never been homeowners we've never worked in construction we're just so enamored by this house that we could overlook a couple of things and and upa he kind of has worked quite a bit on his home and so he has a bit of like construction experience so he came and he inspected this house and he tore it up he was like these windows are old these tiles need to be replaced these cupboards are jamming like he he said it all but he was like but this is a beautiful house and i support that you guys must buy it but you must understand we'll see there's a lot of work that you're gonna have to do i know this video is very long <laughs> even my 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 camera stopped recording but i'm almost done i promise so at the end of was it march yeah end of march my husband and i kind of had like a long conversation after my father-in-law inspected the house and we kind of decided that we actually want this home and we decided on this on the purpose that this home was going to serve in our lives we decided okay cool we are ready to make an offer to purchase but before we um signed that offer to purchase we had to make sure but are we going to have the money for a deposit for the bond registration fees as well as the transfer fees because this home was previously owned by someone else and so we would have to kind of pay transfer fees to um transfer the, the, the ownership of the property from the previous owner into into our ownership and at the time i kid you not we only had like a deposit and then we also had um like a, a like a certain chunk of our transfer fees you know but we decided to sign the offer to purchase because we were both expecting bonuses within the next two months. And even in our offer to purchase, we kind of said, Guba, we will put down this percentage of a deposit. We're going to pay this amount of money towards our transfer fees. And then you need to give us until the end of May to like settle our transfer fees and our bond registration fees. And we knew that we would be able to put together the remainder of the money that we needed to settle our transfer fees and bond registration fees in the next two months because we could kind of predict um obviously we have salaries and so we can predict our disposable income from our salaries but we could also predict the bonuses that we're going to kind of receive within that um time frame so we said to the um, agent that you need to give us this amount of time in order to be able to settle those costs but we are signing an offer to purchase and we made it clear up front before handing in the offer to purchase that this is the process that we're going to sign and then we incorporated that into our offer to purchase 
so far in gear we submitted our offer to purchase paid our deposit um i think beginning of april started paying our transfer fees end of april we paid again and then we eventually settled all our transfer fees all our bond registration fees at the end of may the transfer process actually from the time where we paid our um we completed paying our transfer fees and our bond registration fees or literally only took about five weeks or so and the home transferred to our names at the end of june it's august now we only moved in on the 29th of july when our lease expired but the home actually transferred to our names on the on the 29th of june yeah hi guys editing zizi here please don't mind <laughs> how i look i was just eating dinner um but editing is easy here so I'm, I'm busy editing this video and i just realized Kuba, there's a very important aspect of this i guess story time that i completely did not touch on in this video so i'm going to touch on it now and i think it's actually quite crucial i think when i was filming this video i was just in such a good mood and so i was just remembering like the blissfulness about purchasing this home um, and I failed to actually communicate something very, very important. Yeah. So there's um, an Instagram post that I saw from my friend, um, which inspired this entire video. And it said this. So she said here, Ututu, this was Ututula. She said here, I just had a chat with my landlord. He has a medical degree, but went into early retirement. He owns a lot of properties all over. I asked him how he did it and one of the things he said was, it's okay to like nice things. It's thinking you need them that is a problem. Honestly, a lot of my money is wasted because I think I need the stuff I want but can live without. And you know what? Very good things require sacrifice. So I'm holding on to this, right? So I reshared this on my own status, um, not status, story on Instagram and then followed it up with this. So this was my own um, like spiel that I made on Instagram. So I said, Ooh. so I, so I said here, my husband and I have only just bought our first home, and let me tell you that thing required so much sacrifice and denying ourselves just to save the deposit, transfer duty and fees and bond registration costs. We denied ourselves so much. No honeymoon, no new car, no designer bags for me. As much as I'm exhausted from all the willpower I had to exert, I have no regrets. Every purchase requires a sacrifice. And the sacrifice has just started. And the point I guess that I was making there and that I want to like reiterate in this video is that we purchased a home in a season where we had not necessarily purchased a home, but the Lord, I think, really meant for us to have this home and to have it this year. Um... And it did take some sacrifice for, from us to be able to put together that money. We had to basically sacrifice our reti um, retirement. We had to basically sacrifice our emergency savings, of which now we are having to continue the sacrifice because we're in the process of rebuilding our emergency savings. We had to sacrifice having a honeymoon. So my husband and I have been married for 18 months and we have never been on vacation. We, in fact, have never slept on a bed that was not our home bed, except for the night we got married. We slept at the lodge where we had our wedding, like the day we had our wedding. So that's the only time we've ever slept on a bed that is not <laughs> this bed right here. And it was such a big desire for us to be able to go on vacation this year, but it didn't happen. You know, we've never been on vacation. We haven't had our honeymoon. This month was also uh, my father-in-law's, like, birthday and we were meant to go um to Botswana on vacation as a family like me my husband my sister-in-law and my parents-in-law were supposed to go to Botswana as a family on vacation unfortunately we weren't able to join them because we just didn't have the money because all of our money was used towards purchasing this house um those of you guys who follow me on instagram will know that for a very very long time i've wanted a new car i'm still driving same car i've been driving since i was 22 years old um my husband at his big age of 31 and at his like senior role at work is still driving the same car that he was driving when he was a candidate attorney like fresh out of varsity you know, um, we want new cars, like I want a Mercedes, my husband wants an SUV as well, but unfortunately, like, 
it was just not possible for us to upgrade our cars and be able to also put aside money to purchase this house um you guys know that i'm i sometimes tend to be a little bit of a material girl and i like beautiful and shiny things and i want designer handbags and to this day um i still haven't been able to buy myself a louis vuitton handbag because the money that we had just had to be directed towards buying this home you know i buy my clothes off of shein for many reasons but also including the fact that um this required a sacrifice you know um my camera that i'm filming with right now is actually broken um and i need to get this camera replaced i couldn't get it replaced because we're putting away money for the house my laptop my macbook is i think six or seven years old now it's so slow it takes me 12 hours to edit a youtube video i desperately need a new laptop but i, I couldn't get one we couldn't just spend twenty five thousand rand on a macbook because we needed to get to put aside money for the house so my point is that um and and there were so many other sacrifices that we had to make but my point is that everything requires some level of a sacrifice you know and although we had not planned that this would be the sacrifices we'd be making in this season to purchase a home i think the lord kind of planned that for us and then we just had to follow suit and make the necessary sacrifices i, I don't want to make it seem as though oh it was just so easy we just put together this money ganji, ganji, ganji. yes we were able to put together the money within a period of about six months six six seven months um but it was money from bonuses it was sacrifices not being able to take a honeymoon etc etc um i was saying to umpumi a couple of weeks ago that we literally did not get to spend a cent of our bonuses bonuses we've been working for the past 12 months for we were not able to spend a cent of our bonuses because we put all of that money towards the house and towards paying off my husband's car you know so yeah <laughs> so yeah that is kind of the story time <laughs> that i had for you guys about how we purchased our home the process that we went through and ironically enough guys can you believe this after we were done paying our transfer fees and our bond registration fees our agent in, in the apartment that we we're staying in emailed us and said actually do you want to extend your lease because um the agent is no longer that's right that the owner is no longer selling can you believe that can you believe that so i honestly think we would see the whole thing of the agent uh the owner wanting to sell the property and not allowing us to renew our lease as well as like just finding this home that was just so perfect and beyond like our expectations completely 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 and also the fact that like we we're able to put together like such a large chunk of money in such a short period of time was honestly like the lord's doing like all of everything that happened in order for this home to 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 be ours and for us to get to this point was all like orchestrated by god because i think firstly my husband and i would have taken much longer to purchase a home if we were not put into the situation we we're put in by our agent we would have taken much longer we probably would have just eaten our bonuses we probably would have gone gone on vacation bought me a couple of louis vuitton handbags you know i even wanted to like refurnish our apartment that we we're staying in and on top of that i don't think that like had we purchased at a different point in time that we would have gotten this home you know what i mean because in the in, in the current market and in the area where my husband and i got this home this was the best like there was nothing close to it and the agent knew it like we knew it there was there was nothing and i we, we looked guys. i think we probably spent a good maybe 10 weeks or so 10 to 12 weeks of like continuously searching continuously searching expanding like the radius of where we're looking for a property and this was the best this was truly truly so beyond uh, like both of our expectations within a budget that we could comfortably afford like i i cannot express how much i truly think Uti, all of this was all of this was the lord's doing it was the lord's doing <laughs> so that is how we purchased our home i am going to make a video on my personal finance education channel about all of the costs that are involved in purchasing a home as well as the process that you go through with an agent or with the previous owner um the paperwork that's involved the fees you have to pay how to apply for a bond um how to negotiate a better interest rate because we got a really 
good interest rates on this home like even that we ended up getting i think um 1.5 below what the 1.5 percent below what the what the agent had not the agent the bond originator had said we were gonna get and that's because like my husband and i negotiated our bond and our interest rate like our lives depended on it <laughs> so i'm going to make a video about that on my personal finance education channel so if you don't follow me over there i'm going to link that channel in the description box it's called money and purpose and i make personal finance education content on there so please follow me um on that channel and very very soon i will upload that video and i'll notify you guys when it's up thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a very big um thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't it's completely 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 free but it really goes a long way in supporting me and supporting the growth of this channel and if you didn't <laughs> and if you think there's somebody who would find this video useful please go ahead and share it with them thanks for watching guys bye